Hey guys, Arcade Adam here, and in this one today, I'm going to talk about the original, the OG, the aim track light gun, what you need to do to get this set up in Omega. And we're not even going to roll the intro video, we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing you need to do is message your buddy Ray over at RPEG Electronics. Oh, never mind, he's calling me now. Yeah, Ray. Hey, it's Arcade Adam. So you do have Gun for IR back in stock. Oh, that's awesome. So just go to the website, rpegelectronics.com. All right. Thank you. Thanks, man. I'll talk to you later. So yeah, you confirm that there's parts in stock, and then you just go to rpegelectronics.com and click on AimTrack Gun for IR Conversion Service, and then you box this up, and you mail it to Ray. I'm Arcade Adam. This was an Omega tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I had to do you dirty. It was, it was too, <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. So, anyway, um, I no longer have an aim track light bar, so I can't go into depth. But I do want to go through the step by step process that you would do if you had an aim track light gun. So, in all seriousness, let's get into it. So, first step, uh, if you've watched the Sindon tutorial, it's. Um, a little easier actually there, there's two different things you need to do um, the aim tracks uh, once you plug them in they don't need any camera configuration or any of that send in garbage so the next step you would do is set up this player one excuse me and player two light guns in uh, the demio shooter app on the desktop so player one configuration you plug in your aim track gun it's gonna be in this list um, and I know these numbers these PIDs and VIDs are hard to look at so what I've gone ahead and done is with AimTrack, there are essentially two hardware IDs that I know of. I think you can only have player one and player two. I could be wrong. Um, but in the emulators folder in LaunchBox, so again, uh, I'm using the shortcuts on the side. So uh, LaunchBox, then emulators, and then the IR guns version of MAME, MAME IR guns. I've already set up the stable controller IDs for AimTrack guns. So you go into the controller folder and there's an aim track config file. Editing Adam here made a mistake. Um, that aim track file is new. It didn't make it to the uh, 1.0 release to Omega. So I'm going to link it down in the description if you guys want to follow along at home with that aim track file pre-made for you. And you just put it in the MAME IR guns controller folder directory. Sorry about that. Back to your regular scheduled video. You can double click on that and this will tell you the PID number. So this is what you're looking for in this big long list. So you're going to pull this down, see where it says PID, your, your aim track player one gun should be 1601 and your player two should be 1602. So you pick those in the list, you test by pointing the gun at the screen and your crosshair should move <clears throat> in this device preview and then you just hit save config. That's it. And then do the same process for player two. Again, player two configuration, look for 1602 PID. We'll pretend it's for this 1402. Hit save config after you've done device preview and it moves your crosshair. And then you're in. For aim tracks, that's literally it. But I'm assuming you already did the hard work of getting the aim track plugged in. You tested and you did the uh, calibration where you shoot the corners and your aim track IDs, your device IDs, are player one and player two. Uh, plenty of other people have done videos on that. I'm not really here to teach you how to use your guns start to finish. I'm just saying when you plug them into Omega, if they're already good to go, this is what you need to do. And the last step, now that you've got stable controller IDs, the, the IR guns wheel comes pre-configured for gun for IR. But I, like I said, I made you this aim track file. Now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you back up, you want to get back to the emulators folder. So in Explorer, LaunchBox, emulators, go back to the main IR guns folder. Uh, we don't need to go back into the controller folder. We need the main main.ini. So be careful when you're in here because this is governing every single 
light gun main game for our, uh, IR guns. Uh, and there's a line in here that specifies which controller file you're going to use. So you want to scroll down to where it says gun for IR, uh, about line 129 on my config, so it should be about the same for you guys. And you just change this over to aim track. And I guess you could confirm that that's what I called it in the controller folder. Yep, just aim track. So it's got a match. That's all you got to do. You can name these whatever you want if it makes more sense for you to call them something else. Maybe if you guys want to switch back and forth or whatever. But you would just call that aim track and then you click save. Close out of all this stuff and you're good. Now your player one gun and your player two gun will always remain locked in MAME games. And because you did D-Mule Shooter, it'll be the same thing for those. The one exception is Sega Model 2. Sometimes they flip back and forth, and that's just the nature of that emulator. Trade guns with your buddy if it happens. That's just that simple. Because <laughs> play, sometimes player one guns move in player two crosshair and stuff. It's only three games. Um, I think Ocean Hunter, Star Wars Trilogy, and Jurassic Park Lost World. So that's it, guys. That's my serious note on aim tracks. Uh, I do, do want to say that they, you know, they were great back in the day. Then the Sindens came out, and they just that much better, that whole step better. Uh, software's been lagging. It's been two years that we've been dealing with that buggy software on the Sindens. And then Gunfire R hit the scene, or became popular, I should say. Kind of Gunfire R was kind of floating around out there while the Sindens hit the market, but they really have elevated uh, themselves uh, in the market. You know, they just need to figure out how to produce them <laughs> mass market. And once we get through this shortages thing, I think that's going to happen. But anyway, that's my ranking of the guns. It's my opinion. I've tried all three. I own all three. Um, and with my setup with the gigantic screen, Gunfire R is it for me. So uh, that I'll stop rambling. Guys, this is a tutorial. you find this in the playlist for all the Omega tutorials. You'll see a, see a whole bunch more stuff there. So share that playlist, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.